Hey guys, Manny here from Your House Fitness. Today we're going to talk about the differences between an anterior tilt and a posterior tilt. No, I'm not twerking, but what it is is the position of your pelvis, okay? What a, po a, a, a pelvic tilt is where my hips are kind of pointing and is my butt sticking out or is my butt sticking in? That's how I like to think about it best, okay? So an anterior tilt, I like to call it the Donald Duck butt, okay? My butt is sticking out, I'm arching my lower back, and what actually is happening anatomically and why it's called an anterior tilt is this bony landmark called the ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine. It faces in the anterior position and faces down, okay? So when my ASIS, which is the anterior superior iliac spine, is facing down, that's called an anterior tilt. Very simple. The first word of the ASIS is the, and if it's facing down, is the same position your hips are in. Now let's go the other way. Instead of having my butt out, I'm gonna tuck my butt under me. This is called a posterior tilt. That's when your butt tucks under you. Anatomically speaking, it's your PIIS that's gonna be facing towards the floor. That's your posterior inferior iliac spine. Posterior sounds like posterior, is the same thing as posterior tilt in the same, like the same word. So when you're tucking your butt under you, your PIIS is facing down, okay? In contrast to when you're in an anterior tilt, your ASIS is facing down, okay? So those are the little variations when it comes to the anatomy of your pelvis and when it's tilting in different directions. But there are times where being in a certain pelvic tilt will be advantageous, usually in sport. Um, if you're doing, say, a lot of glute exercises, some people will cue to go into posterior tilt. That's because it's one of the glutes, main, like one of the glutes functions to put you in posterior tilt. It's easier to feel, feel your glutes. In some other sports, people are able to generate more power in an anterior tilt. Swimmers, you know, they have an anterior tilt so they can kick even harder. So it's not always bad to be in one tilt or the other, but typically speaking in your normal day, you want to have a more neutral pelvic position, slightly anterior spine also, okay? So somewhere between there. And when you're standing, obviously you want to be in a neutral position but a lot of times it changes when people start sitting. So I'm gonna get a chair and I'll show you guys how you wanna be sitting properly when it comes to your pelvic tilt. So I got my chair here and when you're sitting, this is very common. It's harder to do on a stool, but if you're sitting on a regular chair, a lot of times people will sit like this. Looks, looks familiar? This is what I look like usually sometimes when I'm on the computer for too long, where I'm kind of rounded, I'm in a posterior tilt and I'm gonna be putting unnecessary stress on my lumbar spine sometimes, okay? So what I wanna do, is sit in a position where my pelvis is neutral, okay? So that means you gotta get out of that slouch position, all right? That means pick the chest up, adjust your seat a little bit, make sure your sitting bone, like, you know, where you feel like the bony parts of your butt is touching the chair, okay? If you don't feel anymore, it's all, all, all butt, right? You might be putting a lot of stress on your spine. It applies the other way also, the other way. People overcompensate for their back and they're like, oh my gosh, straight on my back. This doesn't look very healthy either, and this doesn't feel comfortable for my back. That means I'm going to too much of an anterior tilt. You see that, that large dip in my lower back? You see my butt is sticking out? Okay, that's too much anterior tilt. I gotta go to some more of a neutral position, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you can stay in a more natural position where you're not overly slouched and not too overly arched, you're gonna be doing good for yourself. Everyone's gonna be also different. Some people are just naturally more uh, will be more upright. Some people are gonna slouch just a little bit more. Just as long as you stay within a more medium range, it will be much more beneficial for your spine and, and your, your overall lower back 